And here we are, Rosalina with um, Utopian Ray and Rob for Dill at PS2. All right, so something I'm expecting to see so much in this matchup is the gravitational pull from uh, Rosalina. Going to be able to take care of Rob's baby, the, the gyro. Absolutely, and you know, as I mentioned before, Utopian Ray has been using Rob not quite often, actually, so he probably knows how to go against Rob, especially, as you said, the gravitational pull, and there yep, we go, right, right there. there. And now we just see Ray just pushing um, Dill off the stage, not letting him go back, but yeah, we just see Ray just swallowing everything. Mm -hmm. Luma's offline for a little bit, but uh, Rosalina got a little bit of a replacement in the gyro, but now uh, Utopian Ray at ledge. Dill looking for a bit of an early kill with the, uh, the rotor arms. Now has to make their way back. Not a whole lot of gas left in the tank. Going to be able to just make it back with the air dodge. Absolutely. And can we just talk about how it's only been about a minute or so into the game and Dill's almost running out of gas. Utopian Ray really putting a lot of pressure onto Dill across the stage over on the, um, the ledge. Yeah, something that Rosalina excels so well at is the, uh, the ledge traps, uh, especially with Luma online. Uh, both Luma and Gravitational Pull are going to be able to fight back against everything that Rob wants to push onto stage with, with gyro, with laser, with, you know, with hitboxes. Luma can eat up those hitboxes. Yep, already the Gravitational Pull. Exactly, and just look how well Ray has the gyro placed out. Ooh, it is a classic. It. it is a classic Rob um, setup, and right now taking finally taking the stock almost at 150 percent. Ray at 112, 122, Firing obviously. Right back. Exactly. Um, Dill really quickly closing out the stock, and now we're getting a very similar start up to how the first set. I mean, the first stock started off with. Um, Ray just pushing Dill away, not letting her get back onto the stage. I love the gravitational pull. I love Ray maintaining center stage, waiting for Dill to just come up and attack from above or grab, um, I mean, pull in gyro into a combo or some sort of conversion. But something we actually saw Dill do right there is uh, she actually waited for Utopian Ray to use the gravitational pull and got herself a little bit of a punish. Uh, not a whole lot of damage, just a forward air, but it shows the adaptations are being made. Right, and honestly, both of them are such at already really high percentages, and we saw that Ray took Dill all the way up to 150 before taking a stock, but um, Dill and Rob in general is able to kill relatively early, especially on the top or the side or wherever. And now we get Rosa with the backer, which is honestly a pretty decent backer to just get someone out of the way. Mm -hmm. Dill once again at ledge. Gonna be able to uh, push Luma back, but Luma already back at ledge, ready for a jab or two. Yeah, we see Ray using all these tilts, but none of them actually taking the kill for um, them. And right now, Dill at 200, still unable to die, unable to lose a stock, finally That'll getting do it. it though. With the down smash, we saw Ray use a bunch of tilts trying to get. Um, some sort of damage, some sort of, uh, I guess, kill move into Dill, but nothing so far, and finally getting it. Ooh, is the right, down, down smash? Okay, really good smash. That should be it. Yeah, we see just how hard uh, Utopian Ray is trying to kill um, Dill in all these talks, taking her to all the way up to 150, 160%. But Dill is just able to take stocks off of Ray, uh, stocks off of Rosalina so quickly, able to close off the stock almost as if that whole interaction that caused Dill to get at such high percentage never even happened. And there we saw once again, uh, Dill was ready to punish that gravitational pull, uh, getting just a little bit of stated stage advantage, a little bit of damage, but you know it, it all adds up, and we're already seeing it add up to 72 percent. Absolutely, grabbing the laser so good on this sort of like being able to just catch anything that Dill has to offer. But of course, we saw not too long ago Dill trying to um, bait out gravitational pull, and it worked. And it's what got Ray all the way up to 77, 72 percent. 
gravitational pull lasting so long, even that deep into the move getting the laser. But now we're seeing Utopian Ray trying to come back from ledge. Gonna be able to make it back, taking the high road. Yeah, Luma's gone, so Ray definitely wants to stay back, not get so close without the little buddy along, but there it is. And that dash attack was going to be able to uh, get Utopian Ray some space uh, to wait for Luma to come back. Now, Ooh, you saw just running all the way across the stage to grab, getting the child. Oh, and the wow. back hit is going to take it. Game one going to Utopian Ray. That but, was. Go ahead. That was just a really good. Ri um, what's it called? A read on Ray's part, just waiting for Dill to come back onto stage and running and going for that up smash, hitting it from the back, just as you said. There it is. Ooh. Yep. Could see Dill coming in, trying to fight her way back with some uh, roll in jab, but Utopian Ray was ready for it. Right, and can we talk, it was the back of Up Smash. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a character that has an obnoxiously big hitbox sometimes. I am always thrown off by Rosalina Up Smash. It is, I think it's Rosalina's best um, smash attack. I might be wrong. I'll double check with the Rosa mains. But in every single set, not set, every single stock that we saw, we saw Ray just really struggling to kill. Look at Dill, already at 200%, not getting anything. But there you go, the down smash will hit, but um, Dill easily taking um, Ray to his final stock. But and I did not see the stage. We're going into small battlefield. Small battlefield, battlefield that's small, po uh, po po PS2 that is also small. Same with the two platforms on the side. A little bit different with the way um, the stage corners, I forgot what they're called. The, the blast zones? There we go, the blast zones. But here we are, classic Robs. Getting Dude. the down tilts. Right, right. And we see Dill just going across, hop dot, I mean, running away from platform and then just reversing the gyro, trying to throw Utopian Ray off guard. But Utopian Ray, also knowing how to play with projectiles really well, has been doing really good at mm. just taking these um, projectiles and using it in his own way. That Luma F smash was dangerously close to taking Dill's first stock. It's such an early percentage. Yeah, I just want to mention, you, Ray um, parrying Gyro and then almost thinking that he can um, gravitationally pull um, the Gyro away, but always getting punished for it. And it's, I feel like it's some sort of um, reflex for Ray to just parry the move. And wow! There we go. At that high percent, you can't hold on to the ledge for too long. Otherwise, you're going to eat a, a fat punish. And a fat punish that was Ray really trying to find some man some way to just up smash and um, look at these um, these jabs. Rosa Luna Luma jabs are always so hard to come off of, especially when you're stuck in between. And there you go, the up smash finally taking it and equalizing the stocks. Not a whole lot of percent on Utopian Ray, but could be seeing some building up. The parry, though, is going to put Utopian Ray in the driver's seat for a little bit. Nice parry on the gyro. Going to be putting... Still in another juggle situation. Luma is offline though. Really good on Ray just finding out the perfect balance between grabbing gyro, um, gravitationally pulling gyro, and parrying gyro because it's working really well on his favor. Ooh, so close with the, uh, the arm rotor. And Luma offline once again. I think it got caught by a, a gyro. Just a stray gyro. Yeah, both of them playing around on the right platform, trying to like find some way. Um, Dill underneath that left platform and throwing gyros. It's a little bit difficult for Ray to find some sort of opening to enter in. Will the Nair clanked with the F smash? Giving Dill a second chance at life. Ooh, that sh Oh, the wow. Smash 4 Classic. Is, that, is this Smash 4 or something? 
is this the correct game? Because that was a really good Luma kill, definitely threw me off guard. And good DI by Utopian Ray. Gonna be able to live, not gonna be able to live that back air though. Right, we see Dill trying to stay on the ledge, trying to push Ray out, trying their best to just make sure they are not the one on the um, the right side, the one that's being pushed towards. I I like uh, Dill's movement with the gyro. Oh, Absolutely. She tried to Ooh. punch Luma away, but Luma went for the jaw. Who's so close to getting that connect of Luma into the Rosa back here, I believe. Yeah. I like, I like using the back air to uh, mix up Dill's landing a little bit. Yeah, I just really love um, Ray playing so patiently. Ray just doing whatever he can to get close and safe. And Dill is having a little bit of a struggle with it. Um, Things have reversed. Oh, really good um, get up attack on um, Ray's part. Ooh, that Nair, really big boy Nair coming to attack. And we see the little black flames coming out of Rob's tank engine. They're nearing their end, but. We saw uh, Dill going for a similar situation as last time, trying to downer that Rosa Uppy, taking advantage of the lower invincibility frames. Ooh. I think Dill had the right idea of uh, getting Utopian Ray to gravitational pull once more, but wasn't ready with the punish. Now Dill with so much percentage. Ooh, so close. Could have easily two framed that. Up and you know what? And is I the name think of the day. that is it. Such an incredibly close game between those. And I feel like Dill finally got the uh, the method of going against Rosalina, just really baiting out those um, gravitational pulls, especially in the last stock. We saw how Dill was really preying on um, Ray's ability to gra gravitationally pull. <laughs> And using that extra and like using that extra moment to just take a hit. <laughs> a banjo song. Those pummels were in sync with the banjo song. That was sick. <laughs> Enhance. Oh, look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Pa, 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 pa. Pow, pow, pow. Kapow. Choop, choop, chow. But uh, let's see, looking back, looks like we're gonna be going right back to small battlefield. Back into the battles of small, back into it with the Banjo and Kazooie song, at least some song variety other than battlefield. Yeah, that's what I always love to see with uh, the Smash Bros uh, brand stages, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that man, gonna be is that gonna take it? Oh, oh first we, stock going to Dill. We barely even talked about the game. <laughs> we were too busy talking about music. But um, well, Ray is at a one-stop disadvantage, which honestly, in these past few games, is a really big deal because um, Ray has been struggling to kill. Ray really um, isn't able to close out the stock as fast as Rob can. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually saw, I think, just a little bit ago, uh, Dill maybe running away with it a little bit, and Luma was able to uh, bail Utopian Ray out, getting Dill a hefty chunk of damage. Yeah, we see here that um, Ray's not trying to play as slow as he played in the previous game, trying to make Dill play in his um, method, and Dill honestly isn't falling for it. She's playing the way she wants to play, and it's mm -hmm. her world, and Ray's just living in it. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Dil, I think twice there we saw looking for a punish on the gravitational pull. Forward air gonna force Utopian Ray back off stage. I love watching Dill's recovery. I love the, the way she mixes up her timing. Mm hmm I like seeing Luma battle. Such a cute Pokemon. <laughs> but Ooh, Utopian Ray went for the Luma back air. Uh, oh, oh man. another arm rotor. I think uh, Luma actually extending the hitbox of the arm rotor 
Giving Dill just a few more frames, but Utopian Ray finally on the board with the first stock at a full stock disadvantage. Absolutely, and here um, Dill has really figured it out, just um, throwing projectiles and hoping that Ray would um, gravitationally pull it. Mm -hmm. And um, we see Ray grabbing these gyros, and they're not really like comboing into anything. In fact, Dill would just grab it back. That's actually just what I was thinking. Utopian Ray is uh, grabbing a lot of these gyros, but just not getting much out of them. Mm hmm. And it seems like Dill is thriving on the ledge, thriving at just staying there and making sure that um, Ray has nothing but to do but stay on the ledge. But now Dill on the ledge with a sizable percentage. We could be. Oh, the directional air dodge. Oh, oh just ran out of gas. I think uh, Dill was expecting to make the ledge with that air dodge. Mm -hmm. Honestly, only at 62, 80%. Ray still has a very good chance, especially since he played at a one stock disadvantage for most of the whole. For most of the game. This game is absolutely not over, but Utopian Ray has a bit of a mountain to climb, especially with Luma once again offline. Dill gonna be able to fight her way off the ledge with the forward air. Oh, 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 oh. oh Luma saved the day. Dill now with 74%. This could get scary if uh, Utopian Ray is able to catch Dill doing something she shouldn't be. But <laughs> zap, get out of here, Luma. Zip, zap, zap, there you go, Luma. And that's exactly how you're supposed to go oh, against Ooh. Rosalina and Luma. Just get rid of the Luma. Catches, I think, uh, maybe a little bit of a drift away with that forward air. And just going to be able to swat the Rosalina out of the air. Yeah, really good on both players in this match. Um, Dill learning from the first and second match to go against Ray. And Ray finding out a way to go against... Uh, Rob towards the end, but not enough time to do so. I think I know this album. It was a good album. But really, it's such